With my recent goal to develop my own FPS game, I've been doing a lot of research on what actually makes an FPS game so addicting. Now, there are so many elements that go into making a good FPS. Animations, movement, overall gunplay, gun feel, graphics. But the one thing that consistently comes up during my research is sound design. But why sound design in particular? Well, it's because sounds give you instant feedback based on your actions. And the more satisfying the sound, the more dopamine you will receive, and the more time you will want to spend attempting to achieve that result again. And if you don't believe me, here's an example of how much of a difference sound design actually makes. Here's the feedback when shooting and killing a target in Apex Legends. Here it is without sound. Here is the sound of getting a kill in Apex again. Now compare it to the sound of getting a kill in Shatterline. Which one sounded more satisfying to you? Apex is clearly the winner here, but why is that the case? Well, there are three parts in particular that make the feedback gained from sounds that make an FPS addicting. First, there's passive feedback, then there's active feedback, and finally, achievement feedback. Passive feedback is just the general sounds you hear while you're playing. For example, each gun you shoot has its own sound effect. This also plays an effect on how much you enjoy the gun as well, regardless if you realize it or not. But the feedback gained is generally passive. You click, you you shoot, sounds happen, nothing is really being achieved here, but you are rewarded with sound feedback regardless if you actually hit or miss anything. In fact, this is one of the ways the game can make missing your shots not feel so painful since you are getting dopamine each time the sound effect plays. This also makes mundane actions far more rewarding as well. A good example is when you go to reload. The sound is strangely satisfying even though you aren't really doing anything spectacular. But this again shows that sound effects can cause a great amount of satisfaction with little to to no effort. And that is exactly how addiction works. Why meditate when I could just drink a beer? Both give dopamine, but one is significantly easier to do with less barrier to entry and provides a more immediate release of that tasty dopamine juice. Now, there are a lot of other passive sounds that play into your emotional state as well. For example, footsteps cause tension. Gunfire in the distance can cause excitement if you're an aggressive player or fear if you're a passive player. Even something as simple as the menu sound effects makes a big difference on how the overall game can feel, but I wouldn't necessarily say those are sounds that make an FPS game addicting. Generally, the sound effects of the gunplay is where the key lies. Now, what about active feedback? Well, this is when you are rewarded with a sound because you have made some change to your world as a result of something. For example, if you shoot and miss, that's a passive audio feedback, but if you shoot then hit another player, it generally will play a sound letting you know that you successfully hit them. Not only that, but there are levels to this as well. Shooting dirt is not nearly as satisfying as shooting metal because the feedback is greater when shooting metal. Again, this all rewards you, but even more so than with what you would get from just shooting alone, making you want to repeat the process so that you get that feedback again. Get that dopamine, baby. But of course, you can take this one step further with achievement feedback. This is the same thing as active feedback. However, it only happens when you have achieved something rare or much more difficult to do, or as a result of escalating success. For example, headshots are a great display of this. In Overwatch and Rogue Company, both games use a high-pitched ting sound whenever you hit a target in the dome, yeah. and it is again very satisfying to hear. Much more than a normal body shot, and that is of course intentional, because once you've experienced hitting a headshot, you will want to do it again, causing you to invest more time to improve and more time into the game. Battle Royales in particular are very good for this type of audio feedback, however, because there are far more opportunities to provide the achievement feedback loops. For example, a big one is when you crack an enemy's armor. Apex plays a glass shattering sound for their feedback sound and it is so damn good. But there's also the crunch sound effect when you hit a headshot with the wingman. There's also the sound you when you downed a player. And finally, the sound when you have successfully killed the final member of a team. Apex takes this even a step further by announcing that the team has been eliminated. Warzone also takes it a step further by adding the proximity chat so you can hear the player you just killed lose their shit. So if we compare that to your standard arena shooter like Halo for for example, well, generally you only get rewarded with one sound effect, and that is when you kill a player. But arena shooters can achieve a higher amount of audiogasms too, using very simple tricks, and a great example of this occurs in Rogue Company. When you get a kill, not only do you hear the sound of you successfully killing the player, but you also get badges for each unique achievement related to that kill. For example, if you get a multi-kill, it will play one metal sound, and if you get a headshot, it will reward you with two metal sounds. If you also avenge a teammate and the kill was at point 
blank, you will get rewarded with four metal sounds in a row, making a total of five sounds if you include the actual kill itself, and this all happens in quick succession. Valorant also takes it a step further in a really ingenious way. Each time you get a kill, you really only get one sound. However, the sound actually escalates to a higher and higher pitch with each successful kill, making you crave and desire kill streaks. Now, I should also say, obviously audio isn't the only thing that makes a game addicting. It's the combination of it with the visual feedback and the gameplay loop that truly makes it addicting. But with the right combination, you can have a game whose gameplay is actually complete booty cheeks, but seems fun simply due to the feedback you receive. A great example is Seven Days to Die, where you are slow, everything is clunky and glitchy and laggy. But once you hit that headshot and are lucky enough to have the zombies head bust, there is nothing more satisfying and it makes you want to always go for the head and get stronger weapons so you can do it again and again and again. So the next time you're playing your favorite shooter, pay close attention to your emotional and mental state and try to see how the sounds are actually affecting you because you might be surprised at what actually attracts you to the game. You might actually hate the gameplay, but the visuals and audio are so enticing that you can't help but want to play more. You might not even notice that it might even cover up the fact that the game is booty. I know this video was a little bit different than normal, but if you like this type of video and want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Okay, love you, bye.